Welcome to very hot Corfu town. <laughs> we are having a heat wave here in Greece and as a result they have closed all the archaeological sites from 12 to 5 because of the heat wave and of course I got here right at 12 so I still can't get into the fortress. This is the second time I've been to Corfu and not really been able to explore it. Uh, I came here once and I uh, docked at the port that's on the fortress and we walked through it, but we didn't really see anything. I'm hoping to come back later, but it may or may not happen uh, just because of my schedule. I'm not here on my own and I'm also on a boat. I'm not staying in a hotel. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna show you the outside. It's still very impressive uh, from the outside. There are actually two fortresses here in town. This is the old fortress and then there's the new fortress, but the new fortress isn't really new. It's just newer than this one. The fortress is a Venetian fortress built in the 15th century um, and has been many things. And actually inside now there is a music school even. And if you're docked at the Mandraki Marina, sometimes you can hear them practicing. Since I can't go into the fortress, I'm going to walk around the old town and sort of just go on a little stroll and take you guys with me. Then I'm gonna go to this museum that I think I saw that looks interesting. Plus hopefully it has air conditioning. When I came in from the airport, we drove past this and I was like, I don't know what that is. I then discovered it was the Museum of Asian Art. I'm not gonna go in today though. Um, I just don't think I'm interested in seeing Asian art today. name is the Palace of St. Michael and St. George and while it's never really been a palace per se it was built when the British ruled the Ionian so that's why it's sort of this different looking building. After the British left apparently in the early 1900s is when the Society for Asian Art bought the building and it is now this museum. I was gonna go inside because it's super nice and air-conditioned. However, I can't take any photos inside, so I can't even show you guys like the entryway. <laughs> so if, but if you come to Corfu, the building itself is really interesting, even if you're not interested in Asian art. What was really cool is when I came from the airport, we drove all the way around the park and then we came through here to go this way. <laughs> Well, even if you're in Corfu town, it looks like you can go to the beach. There's a small beach here on the outside road. I'll show you behind where the Asian Museum is. If you just walk down through that road where I showed you and you go down the hill, there's a beach. Actually, it's pebbly, but um, it would be nice to escape the heat in um, and you get quite a bit of waves from the boats going by, so it'd be fun. Over there is Mouse Island. I'm not 100% sure what's over there, but um, it is on the list of things to do. I'm not going over there, but a couple I met on the bus was going over there. So there's definitely something over there. I did go to the museum that I was on my way to eventually. It's a Byzantine art museum. It's up these stairs, <laughs> so, but not steep. If you're really into Byzantine art, go. Uh, if you really like Greek churches, you might go because it has sort of a recreation with the altar inside. Otherwise, you might give it a miss, but it is only four euros. Uh, but I will say there's no air conditioning. So if you're here in the summer and you're trying to escape the heat, that is not the place. Go back to the Asian Art Museum. This is the famous Leoston sort of area and as you can see it's full of restaurants and it has all these beautiful trees up against the square and at night it's really nice i've been down here at nights once before and it's really lovely outside i'm going to try to find a place to eat somewhere now all of these places sort of cater to tourists so i'm not really sure if i'm going to eat in here it's probably cooler to eat in here than it is inside this city so we'll see 
so it's really too hot to eat anything big. So I just got a simple sandwich and a Coke in a restaurant that has air conditioning. I decided sitting outside over on the Lilliston was really too hot. Corfu Town is definitely a place that you could just wander around the alleyways and get lost and enjoy it. Maybe not on a day that's so hot, but in the shade it's actually not too bad. It's really like super humid, so that makes it feel even worse than it really is. Of course, look at all the really cool architecture. I think this is a church, but I don't think it's a Greek Orthodox church. Interesting. I mean, look at this one. This one's amazing with all the shutters. Love it. Love all of them. It's like Venice but taller <laughs> and no canals. Tiny little square. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's this old fashioned sign over there that's for a dentist. Irini Mandila. <laughs> My Greek is getting better, but it's very slow. Sometimes it takes me a minute. There's another really cool building. If you notice on the ironwork, it has little ships. Let's see if I can stop so you can see it. Yeah, wonder what that building is. <laughs> looks like some sort of government office though because it has the Greek flag, the EU flag, and I'm assuming Corfu. Here's another beautiful looking green square. I'm not gonna go in there though because it is full in the sun and I'm trying to avoid being in the sun. Actually walking in the shade and slowly going to weave my way back to the boat. I know some of you will be curious but I am not on a charter boat. I am on a boat with a friend. It is their boat, so it's a little bit different than my usual sailing trips. There's no schedule. We are setting the schedule. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for now. It is just too hot. Hopefully we'll come out back later today when it's cooler and maybe go to the fortress, uh, but we definitely wanted to come back in and have dinner in town. We'll see how that goes. Now I'm gonna walk through this lovely park here and I am gonna cut through this restaurant because it's in the shade. <laughs> in town in the evening it's about I don't know seven o'clock it is still way too hot to go in there even though the doors are open now it's in the full sun so I think I'm just not meant to see this castle I mean I've walked through it last year if I have footage of that then I'll show it to you but I don't think that I do so but if you come and it's not blisteringly hot I recommend that you do it's definitely interesting inside we have to leave very early in the morning so that we can get a spot at the next harbor. So we're having a very early dinner by Greek standards. We're hoping for euros. So let's see what we can find. We have finally decided on food. We got pork suvaki. I got imista. It looks really good. Well, the food was okay. It wasn't amazing, but we really needed to eat, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> so, uh, I love all these buildings, though. So, we're gonna slowly walk back to the boat because it's hot still at this hour. You know how I always say to make sure you stop and look around no matter if you're in a hurry or not? We're passing by this little alleyway and here is a church at the end of the alleyway. They have candles burning outside, although I think they're electric. But how beautiful is this? Oh, it's very small and then it leads to this little courtyard. It very much reminds me of Italy. I wonder what the other side looks like. Oh, how cute. Petro. Huh. I can't read it. I'm still not that great. I can read the name, and that's about it. Well, the heat has finally gone for the day. It's really beautiful now. And look at the fortress. It's all lit up and beautiful. 
Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you on the next adventure.